What's up guys, Syraf here, welcome back to the queue, it's been a while, uh, it's been actually a long, long time since I've gotten you guys some videos out here, it's, um, there's been a, a few interesting developments in the world of Guild Wars 2 PvP, I've been, uh, planning away at this crazy thing that's coming up, but you'll hear more about that later, let's focus on what we've got in front of you, we've got a match here between, uh, Team Blacklisted, or Envy, versus really nice guys, or RNG, really sick guys, uh, Blacklisted and RNG, some of the top teams in the NA server right now, some really great guys also to know in the scene, but what's really interesting is what's gonna go on here, so let's go over who's in what team, we have your Antian over here on Envy, we have Hans, the Guardian, we have Spirits of the Necro, Steb, rocking that thief, and we have Genyon here as well. Uh, Genyon is not exactly, I'm not sure if he's actually on Envy or not, um, but he will be filling in here. We will see a double uh, Spirit Ranger comp over here from Envy. Actually, no, I, I apologize. Uranti is actually running BM, so that's really interesting. We're going to see Pure uh, pure Bleeds, Pure over here for RNG on uh, uh, Necro. Muriels is the thief. Control on Guardian, and we're going to have uh, Triptic over here uh, running that Spirit Ranger, and Nero going for Angie here. Nero, uh, of course, also, I think, if I'm not mistaken, ran either Ellie or Mesmer for this team for a while. Let's check out the splits here, guys. So we do have Muriels going for that home point. We do have Genyon going, doing the same thing for the side of blacklisted and we'll see that blacklisted opts to send your anti in to the tr to the treb here for the middle well narrow goes in for the side point the far point for his team so let's check out with this fight between envy and uh, envy's hans and control over here because this is going to be the guardian fight we will see the treb action here and on the sides we will see pure rolling in with those necro skills and we do seem to have let's check out uh, what's, uh, what your Antian is doing here he's doing he's on the treb there and that was uh we did see spirits up there as well uh Let's see what's... I think Control's going to have this no problem here. If he throws down that ring of warding, yep. Hans will not be able to get in here immediately, but here comes Spirits to, to deal with that as well. Let's check out the fights around the other side of the map. There's Muriel's step is in stealth right there. Muriel's going to be a, a thief on thief fight here on uh, on Mansion, though. As long as Muriel's does not go into that stealth mode, he will be fine. Let's check out what's going on in the far point here. That we do see Nero versus Genyon, and it looks like Nero's actually lower health compared to Genyon here. Let's go in with Genyon's point of view as he's rolling around. He did he actually hasn't popped any of his spirits yet, which is super interesting. I don't think he has the time to, but now that Nero's running away, he can totally do that. Get those buffs out, the burning, the conditions, so effective. And uh, actually, there is one as we kind of pulled away. There's no one where, no one on the midpoint there as RNG has that capture. Check out the score right now, guys. It's 46 to 2. Two capture points in the favor of RNG. We do see Steph running away. He's very low. Let's check out what else is going on. In this map, let's go in with Hans. Hans is kind of really uh, pressing forward here into the mid. He's going to try and get on point here, rolling that Guardian. He does have trip support momentarily. Uh, looks like get, uh, Euranthian did get off there. He's rolling in and shooting at somebody. Let's check out who he's fighting. Uh, it looks like he's going to try to get some shots off on Nero right here, as Nero might actually roll up and uh, get some shots off on him if he decides to turn around or not. But your spirits, he's going to be two on one right now and joining the rest of the fight right here as here comes Triptych. He's bringing in his spirits. Everyone here is going to be fine. They're going to have that healing spring ability later if the if uh, Triptych chooses to throw that down here. He's going to have his spirits out momentarily, probably, as they did just uh, come back out. So we, most of the fighting is going on on the north side of the map, allowing RNG to really secure a fast lead here. Uh, let's check out. So Genyon's up here. There are all of his spirits. There's the, the sun spirit to blind it to get off that burning damage. Nero's kind of trying to run away to get uh, pretty much where they need to be. Let's check out the midpoint here as Urantian is here. He, you realize there's a, an option to go into the midpoint here and do some work, but uh, he, RNG is doing such a great job of responding get, being where they need to be and at exactly the right points. Let's check out what Steb's doing. Steb might be pushing far here, and it looks like that's exactly what he's doing. He does have that ship arrow. Going to be able to to warp away with that that, uh, four, that five skill, rather, at in uh, Infiltrator's Arrow. It does allow you to shadow Step for the cost of some initiative there. Um, he will be rolling away and really pushing away. Poppy that Shadow's Refuge. He's going to be healing, maybe hoping that someone forgets he's around there, but Triptych and uh, and company are here. He will get caught, caught out here, and Muriel's excuse me, will be able to get in shots on him. So let's check out what's going on. Oh, Oh my god, I actually closed my map right there. Let's check out what's going on in the mid. Steph's actually going to go down. Can Muriel's get this stomp here? Let's check it out. And, uh, no, he's going to warp away. He will Shadow Step, and the Shadow Step did not can come in through with the stomp here. But Muriel's will get the Shadow Step stomp right now. And, nope, that's going to be a, a 
he'll be DPS down there. I, I promise you. But here, let's check out Control and Pure versus Hans and Genyan. And here comes Triptych with the Spirit Support, which is absolutely needed because the other team has it as well. Uh, I don't think there's exactly Trap Shots going off there, but there's Control using that Resolute Healer trait to get Pure up. But no, Spirit's going to come in with the stop right there, and Triptych's going to be rolling in from the side. You're going to get, gonna be getting some shots off on Hans right there, and Euranthian is here as well. Spirit of Nature Renewal is ready to go if someone goes down here. Triptych is getting kind of low here. Muriels is down on the bottom of the point, going to get stopped by Euranthian. And there's a uh, Wump the Giant to finish him off. And let's see what else is going on. Hans going to be going off of that Empower. Uh, Triptych's pet using that, that Howl to get the fear and getting him off the point. There's the symbol of, of uh, Swiftness, though, going in for uh, for Hans. Their control is really low on the point. He needs some support from here from his team. He's going to go down. Will the Wave of Light go out? And we'll see. It looks like the Trap Shot is going to be procking nothing. And it looks like he'll get stopped right there again. And again, it's, of course, on point doing such a great job. The score is 213 to 110. For, for RNG here. Blacklisted has to put in some work, and that's exactly what they're doing here on the midpoint. But before I say that, check out what's going on in Mansion. We do have Stab decapping Mansion, and we do have Nero actually really low with Spirits over here. Spirits can actually get him down if he gets uh, some really nice shots in on Nero. And actually, here comes Euranthian to kind of finish him off as well. So the fighting here is going to be uh, kind of cooling down here as I, we do see Muriel is getting on the trap here for RNG. Pure is going to try and recap everything. Han's going to get killed by just pure damage right there. And everything will be okay for RNG for the meantime, but they do need to get a double cap really fast. They need to send someone over here to Mansion. They need to get someone... Uh, they need to get someone to help uh, Nero and deal with Urantian over here because he did manage to deal with... Uh, I think that was the Spirits actually... Well... We'll see what's going on here. Let's check out what's going on in the mansion. Muriel's is 1v2ing right now. Here comes Pure, though. Will he be enough to help him? Because Muriel's going to have a tough time against Gen Genyon and Steb. But Genyon is down over here. Can uh, Pure get this stop in or not? He's actually going to be Shadow Refuge by Steb there. Just kind of keep him in the moment. But Pure's going to try and do some AoE just to keep him down. And it looks like Steb, actually, he's going to go down himself as well. We'll see if the Shadow Stop will go off. I uh, didn't actually manage to get the Shadow Stop off. as at, uh, Shadow Step Stop, rather. And here comes the second part. There's the fear from Pure, really supporting a teammate really well. We'll see if he can get up. He's actually uh, about halfway there, but no, Steb's going to keep trying for the stop right here. Here comes Genyon, who's up as well. Muriel's warping once again. Here's Nero. Here's Triptych. Here's Spirits. We're going to have a huge fight over here on Mansion, and it's going to be interesting to see what goes on here. Muriel's is down. Pure and narrow, trying to get him up before the stomp goes through, but no, he'll go down as well. There you see the uh, the wolf skill going off, fearing away spirits. We're going to have Steb and Urantian in here as well. Narrow is down on point. Ganyan's about to go down as well. If Trichter can get this kill in, he will res Narrow, and he'll be continue this fight. But it's going to be easier said than done as Urantian's going to go in. He's going to try and heal, and now he's going to try and stop Triptych. Is he? No, we're going to see that bomb go off from Narrow, and Triptych really needs to get a stop off. But no, there it is. Here comes a stop from Urantian. Will he get through and yes, he, no, he gets the rally off on Nero. Clutch rally from Triptych onto Nero here on the mansion, and it looks like Blue Team is coming back. They will get this, and we'll see what what else is going on here in the in this fight here. We do see that Urantian got stomped right there, and there's one to prove it. Let's see Pure as he finish off, finishes off Genyan. Let's see what else he gets to finish off here as well. Genyan actually uh, gonna he's gonna get enough points to decap this point here. He is in the down state, um, so we'll see if anyone kind of realizes this. At I think that it was just a slight uh, logistical error there for RNG. They'll get the stomp, they'll get the damage off, they'll get their point back. They don't need to worry about that though, because they're up 317 to 180 in this match, guys. So let's check out midpoint. Everything seems to be going fine, but red team is going to be pushing up here shortly. We do see Spirits and Hans coming up here as well. We do um, also, I think Spirits was around here. Uh, as well, actually, she's opting to come in from the side uh, there right now. Let's see what's what's going on here. I think the fighting is mostly around here. Here's Stab and Spirits getting out of that Shadow Refuge, abusing that, that stealth there, but we will see. Um, Stab is seeing Muriel's up on the top, and Muriel's opting to just walk off, trying to st stay around the point, got to support his teammates. Meanwhile, on the point, we will see Hans versus Control here, and this is your good old Guardian fight. The Shield of Absorption does go out to push Control off the point there, and here's this Treb support. There's no one on... Actually, Nero can kind of just... I think he's trying to stack himself up with some crazy stuff uh, before he goes in there, but that's, I don't know. They need to deal with Genyon's trap support there, and uh, actually Hans is down. Uh, Control is down. Hans will get the stop on him, a rabbit's finisher, and uh, we'll see if there's any sort of aggression Blue can put on here to take this back right now, as they are kind of, they did kind of trickle in. They really need to put a like, big amount of team pressure there, but they are leaving their home points open, both teams right now, so they really need to actually... Uh, 
the spirit of nature renewal did die. Uh, that's just such a, a terrible thing for RNG right now because they, they need that that res support. Actually, uh, stab and spirits are down right now. Pure can get this kill off if he chooses to uh, to stomp from the the outside here. If the treb doesn't really get him, we'll see if this happens right now. Hans is of course trying to <laughs> to get that res off on stab, but Muriel's is just cleaving him down. And here comes control to try and get the stomp. We'll see if it goes through. No, stab is uh, going right on point there. Now Hans goes down. Wave of light goes off, pushing control down. Muriel's is there, and they're just trying to res. They're trying to stomp. This is going to be a total badass fight here. We do see the blue team actually managed to get the, the windmill point. It's going to force Urantian and Genian over here. We'll see if blue team comes back to try and get their home point again momentarily. But I like the way that RNG is moving right now. They are up 428 to 223. I don't really see um, Blacklisted coming back right yet. This is this is just a great match for RNG right now. They really had superior um, positioning and great rotation between the points here. We see Nero gain a two cap once again. There is really a point where um, RNG had less than a one cap. The two cap also happened the majority of the game here, and I think this is what's going to spell them victory. They just need a little bit more time, as I don't think that uh, Blacklist will come out here, but we'll see what's going on. Let's check out what's going on with Hans. They may be, yep, they're going to stack up this Shadow Refuge here, and they're going to wait for their stealth to come back, and they're going to do one last offensive. Let's see if it's going to be here on the mid, or if they're just going to jump over and go to, to uh, Mansion. They will actually activate some traps over here, and uh, yeah, they're heading to Mansion, man. This is going to be really great. Uh, let's see. Uranti is already over here. He's popping in that self form. There's a uh, grunt coming out. It's like Marios is going to be having a little bit of a hard time here to dealing with this 3v1 here. He's already really, really low. Spears coming in. He's going to drop. And here comes the rest of the blue team. Uh, we're going to see uh, uh, Triptic and I think that's pure. Yep, this pure coming up here. Trying to support, but their teammate's already dead. We'll see this. Actually, this game is already over, guys. It's uh, mathematically impossible for Blacklisted to come back now as there's only three points left. One point, and there it is, guys. Guys, congratulations to RNG on winning this ladder match. Of course, you're watching the queue, the highest rated Guild Wars 2 matches that you can find from the Team Queue. Thank you guys for watching. If you loved it, if you liked it, go ahead, hit that like button under the uh, under this video. Subscribe if you aren't already, and uh, share it with your friends. If you love Guild Wars 2 PvP, I will, of course, be bringing you more of this content every, hopefully every day this week. So, uh, guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.